Hey everybody, it's noon and we're here for our live yoga class today. Um, it'll be about an hour long and don't worry if you can't join me live, no problem. Um, this will still be on my Facebook page after the fact. You can watch the replay and I'll be uploading a version to YouTube. So I have my phone also doing another video that I can upload to YouTube. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me if you can today. Um, I'll be doing this every day um, until Saturday. So today is, geez, is it Wednesday? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Noon yoga followed by um, 25 minutes about of a hit class uh, afterwards. And I will break it up. So if you don't want to stay for the hit class, I'll end the live video and then resume. So for now though, we're going to get started with our yoga class. This is going to be a really hip heavy class. Um, as always, we don't need necessarily any um, um, what are these? Props. <laughs> but I do always recommend trying to have at least a blanket and a couple blocks if you have them around. If not, no big deal. And most importantly, just listen to your body. Again, this is going to be a big hip class. So this is a really huge place of tension for most people. So just really pay attention to what your body is saying to you. Don't go deeper than it wants to go. Don't try to force something that doesn't feel good. If you feel intensity, that's fine. If you feel any sort of pain, totally okay to back off. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get started in child pose on your mat. So knees apart, big toes together, and we'll just start to come into our breath here. Forehead down to the ground. Walk your hands out in front of you and just release the shoulders, release the hips. Taking a couple deep breaths here, just to kind of bring yourself into the space. And as you breathe here, start to allow your mind to just completely settle. Allow your body to completely settle. Feel the ground beneath you and know that the weight of your body is supported here by this earth. Soften through the muscles of your face. And start to bring your attention to your breath. Notice first how it's moving naturally. And then begin to add a little bit of intention to the breath. So inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And just allowing your focus to be solely on that breath. Maybe begin your ujjayi pranayama by adding that little bit of constriction to the back of the throat. So as you breathe, it'll make the sound like ocean waves. We'll breathe here for five more breaths. Start to find a little bit of movement again in the body. Maybe rock your forehead a little bit from side to side on the mat. Shift the hips or shift the ribs side to side. On an inhale, tent your fingertips, or tent the palms rather, by grounding through all 10 fingertips and lifting the palms up off the floor. On your exhale, begin to walk your hands over to the right corner of your mat, and settling the shoulders down, settling the head down. Nice big side stretch into the left side body. Breathing deeply. In 
inhale, start to walk the hands back through center. And then exhale over to the left corner of your mat. Same thing, release the head, keep the hips heavy. Breathe into the right side body. Inhale to come back through center. And then on your exhale, just bring the palms together like in a prayer position. Bending at your elbows, draw the thumbs back towards the back of the head. Nice big um, stretch through the triceps, feeling a little bit in the area under the armpits, the lats. Taking one nice big breath in. Exhaling to release the hands back down to the earth. On your inhale, start to lift up to tabletop now. Bring the knees underneath your hips, wrists underneath the shoulders, so everything's stacked up. And we'll start to move through the spine a little bit. On an inhale, drop your belly down, lift your tailbone, lift your gaze. As you exhale, press through your palms, round the spine, round the back, bringing your chin to your chest, cat cow. Continue to move through cat cow with your own breath on the inhale. Lifting, reaching the heart forward, exhaling to round. And go through about four more rounds here, knowing that you can stick with cat cow or any other movements. Anything organic is feeling good to you. You can shift around a little bit. No right or wrong here. Just making it work for you. Last one. And gently come back to your neutral tabletop. So in your neutral tabletop, making sure fingers are spread wide, belly is hugging up and in towards the spine, so we're not totally rounded, but we're also not just letting the belly drop lazily down, so there's no arch in the back. Nice neutral spine, so everything's flat. Ground down through all 10 fingertips here. As you inhale, reach your right leg straight back behind you. Holding here, making sure your toes are pointing towards the earth. Hips are square to the earth, so we're not opening to the side, but everything's facing the floor. Crown of your head is reaching forward. Option, if you'd like to make this a little more challenging, to like the, take the left hand forward, palm facing in. Spinal balance. Keep hugging your belly up and in. The more you engage your belly, the more you're going to be able to balance. Inhale, see so if you can reach a little bit longer through the sole of the foot and the fingertips. On your exhale, bring the knee in towards your elbow as you round the spine, or possibly just knee to chest if you didn't extend the arm. We're gonna take four more of these. Inhale, exhale, bring it in. Use your breath. Your breath is your power. Last one. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, take it back down to the mat. All right, moving on to the other side, making sure you have that engagement in the core first. Grounding evenly through the fingertips, crown of your head reaching forward. Inhale, left leg extends. Belly is hugging up and in. Now if you feel good and you wanna go up a notch, right hand reaches forward. Inhale, keep lengthening through fingertips through the sole of the foot. Exhale, knee to elbow or knee to chest. Four more with your own breath. If you wobble and fall, no problem. You just come back in. Getting stronger all the time. Doesn't have to be perfect. Taking it for one more. Inhale to extend. Exhale, release. We'll find a quick little wrist stretch here. So rotate the fingertips out and in to face the knees, and then drop your hips back as far as you want to go towards the heels. That might not be very far if you have really tight wrists. Press through the heels of the hands. Inhale, release forward. Fingertips turn back to the front. And from here, we're going to tuck our toes, send the hips up and back for the first downward facing dog. Start by walking it out a little bit. Again, just working on finding that presence in your body. Using the breath to move you, to focus you. To keep everything nice and calm and present here on the mat. 
Holding here in your static down dog for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Let go of whatever stresses you're experiencing. Inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, let it go. <sighs> All right, on an inhale, look forward. Begin to walk your feet to meet your hands at the front of the mat. Halfway lift, flat back. Remembering that if you can't reach the floor in your flat back, hands are maybe on the fronts of the shins, fronts of the thighs, but they're not just dangling. Have them supported by something. Shoulders are drawing back and down. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Release, grabbing opposite elbows. Sway the torso side to side. Hmm. All right, on an inhale, fingertips come back to the mat or shins, halfway lift. On your exhale, heel toe your feet slightly wider than your hips and turn the toes out 45 degrees. We're just gonna start to warm up the legs a little bit here and get the glutes and the hamstrings involved because we're gonna be doing a lot of hip stuff. So on an inhale, find your halfway lift with this new stance. On an exhale, start to squat it down and see if you can get the hips in line with the knees, hands reach straight out in front of you. Breathe, try to ground through all four corners of your feet. Make sure your booty is not sticking way back behind you, no arch in the back. Hug the belly button back in. Whew. Inhale, let's press, rise all the way up to standing. And then exhale, turn the toes forward and then sink it back down into that squat, except toes are facing the front this time. Whew, belly hugs up and in. Weight into the heels. We're gonna do this one more time. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, turn the feet out, 45, sink down. Inhale, stand up, turn the toes forward, squat, sink down. Inhale, stand up, and from here, exhale, dive forward, fold. <sighs> Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, high plank. If you want to chaturanga, you can. I am really sore on the shoulders, so I'm going to skip it, but you're more than welcome. My husband and I did 100 push-ups the other day, and it was two days ago, and uh, so today I'm like the most sore from it. So I'm gonna skip chaturangas for now. <laughs> Walk it out in your down dog, reconnect to your breath. Hmm. All right, we'll move through a couple of sun salutations here. Inhale, look forward, walk or hop to meet your hands. Remember to use that breath to transition, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Arms sweep up overhead. Exhale, dive forward and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, high plank, chaturanga if you want, or straight back to down dog. Whatever's suiting you today. You can also modify chaturanga with the knees down. Couple breaths in that down dog. Inhale, look forward, walk or hop to meet your hands, halfway lift. Use the exhale to release and fold. Use the inhale to rise up. Arms extend overhead, exhale, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms plant, step or hop back, chaturanga if you want, or straight to down dog, few breaths. Let's take two more of those sun salutations. Go at your own pace. That might be faster, it might be slower than me, whatever works for you. Two full rounds using your breath. Inhale, look forward, walk or hop to meet your hands. Halfway lift. I'm just going to start moving, so I'm going to stop cueing. Just go at your own pace. Two rounds.
When you arrive back to that second down dog, use it to reconnect, check in with the breath. On your next inhale, look forward, walk or hop to meet your hands, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Heel, toe, the feet all the way together this time. So your big toes are touching, heels might be slightly separated. Bend your knees, send the weight back into your heels. Rise up, chair pose, Utkatasana. Arms can be extended or hands at heart center, whatever feels better in your body. Again, my shoulders are rocking, so I'm gonna do hands at heart. Try to keep your weight back into the heels. Engage your inner thighs to help you lift the pelvic floor and make sure the booty's not popping back. So a nice flat back here. All right, inhale, rise up, reach up. On an exhale, keeping your core engaged, your legs engaged, to cactus arms. Draw the shoulder blades together, open the chest. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back, flow back to down dog or straight there. Once in that downward facing dog, head is heavy and relaxed. Inhale, right toes rise. On an exhale, bend your right knee and stack your hip open. So you're pulling your right heel towards your left butt cheek. Shoulders are square. You should feel this opening up the front of your right hip flexor. Inhale, go ahead and straighten that leg back out, flexing the toes towards the ground, squaring the hips. And on your exhale, step the right foot forward between your hands. It's okay if it takes more than one step to get there. With your back foot, pop it up just a little bit so that you can drop the heel on the left foot all the way down. The left foot is at a 45 degree angle. Virabhadrasana one. Arms sweep up overhead. So here in your warrior one, try to keep your hips square to the front as much as you can. If you notice that your left hip is opening back to the side, more like warrior two, you might wanna pop your back foot in even a little bit more or take your front foot and heel toe it out to the side of it to give your hips a little more space. All right, sinking forward. What you want is stretching the front of your left hip right now. Arms are extended overhead. Big breath in here. On the exhale, twist to your right. Left hand forward, right arm back. Inhale back to center. On the exhale, hands come down to frame your front foot. Lift your back heel, wiggle that left leg back. Step the right foot back, chaturanga, or straight to down dog. So we're just hitting that warrior one, taking a couple breaths, and then flowing back to down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bend the left knee, stack your hip open. Head stays heavy between the arms. Right heel stays heavy. Inhale, go ahead and straighten that left leg back out, flexing the toes. As you exhale, step the left foot forward between your hands. Once you get there, back foot pops up slightly, 45 degrees. And here in your warrior one, your feet should really be in two separate lanes. So rather than being like you're on a tightrope, two different lanes with the feet. On your inhale, rise up. You should feel this opening through the front of the body. You should also feel just a slight back bend happening here. So keep your core engaged to protect this low back area. Staying grounded through both feet. Remember, if you need to adjust, you can bring back foot up or walk left toes out. One more breath. Inhale here. Exhale, twist. Right hand forward, left hand back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hands down. Right heel lifts, wiggle it back. Step your left leg back, high plank. Chaturanga or down dog. Hmm. All right, just 
starting to get those hips open a little bit. I'm gonna take it a little more intense this time. So inhale, look forward, walk or hop to meet your hands. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk the feet all the way together, bend the knees, chair pose, Utkatasana. Hold in here, sink the weight into the heels, belly is pulling up and in as you inhale. Exhale, hinge forward, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant the palms, step or hop back, chaturanga, or straight back to down dog, however you want to get there. Inhale, right toes rise. On your exhale, shift your weight forward and hug your right knee towards your chest. So shoulders are over wrists here. Core engagement. Inhale, send it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, squeeze the knee to the chest, shift the weight forward. Press the ground away. None of this. Press out of the floor. Inhale, one more time. Leg up. Exhale, step the right foot between your hands. Ooh, all right, this time. Back heel stays high. Inhale, rise up, all in asana, high crescent lunge. Take a nice big breath in. Maybe even lift the heart as you exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, reach. On the exhale, take that twist again. All right, this time you can stay in the twist, or if you want it to go a little bit deeper, you can take your right hand to rest on the back of your left thigh. Left arm reaches up and over. Stay low, front leg. Whew. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, rotate your back heel all the way down. Cartwheel arms open. Warrior two. Virabhadrasana two. Check that your front heel aligns with the arch of your back foot. Sinking low into that front leg. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up. Exhale, relax them down the back. All right, on an inhale, we're gonna flip our front palm, sweep it all the way up and back, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel right elbow. Whew, to your right knee, out of breath, y'all. <laughs> left hand alongside left cheek, reaching forward. Extended side ankle. Now we're gonna be getting a lot into the hips and we're gonna do this pose repeatedly. So maybe for this first one, even if you can usually go a little deeper into it, maybe keep the elbow on the knee for this first one. All right, stay low in the front leg. As you inhale, reverse your warrior one more time. Exhale, cartwheel hands down around your right foot. Step back, chaturanga, or straight to down dog. Ooh. Using your down dog always as that place to kind of check in, reset. Make sure you're still breathing. All right, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, shift your weight forward, knee to nose, press the ground away. Two more, inhale, extend. Use that exhale to crunch the knee and shift the weight forward. One more time. Exhale, step the left foot between your hands, get nice and low. In that front knee, back heel is high. Inhale, rise, all the knots in a high crescent lunge. Big breath in, lift the heart, feel that opening in the front of the body, exhale, cactus arms. Keep the belly button pulling back to the spine, support your lower back, inhale, reach, exhale, twist, right hand forward, left arm back. Option to stay or bring that left hand to the back of the uh, right thigh, right arm reaches up and back. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, rotate your back heel all the way down. Sink into warrior two. So this warrior two is different because our hips are open to the side. So we're getting this more inner thigh kind of groin stretch. Hands are reaching opposite directions. Ground down through both feet evenly. So don't simply put all your weight into the front leg just because that's the one that's bent. Really press into the back edge of the back foot. Soften the face, inhale, roll the shoulders up. Exhale, release. Inhale, front palm flips. 
Reach up and back, stay low in that front leg. Don't straighten it out. Take a nice big breath in here. Exhale, cartwheel left elbow to left knee. Right arm sweeps alongside right cheek. Even here when you're shifting forward where all your weight is leaning forward, keep active through this back leg, back edge of your back foot. Long line of energy. All right, we're gonna come up in reverse again, but stay low on this front leg. Inhale, rise up, reach back. Exhale, cartwheel, hands down. Lifting the back heel, step back, chaturanga. Or straight back to down dog. Ooh. Now is enough chaturanga for me. <laughs> hmm. All right, we're gonna move through that same sequence two more times. One breath per movement. So I'm gonna cue this next round, and then the third round, we're just gonna move with our own breath. When you're ready, inhale, look forward, step or hop to the front of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Walk the feet together, bend the knees, inhale, utkatasana. Exhale, hinge forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms plant, step or hop back, chaturanga or not. And by or not, I mean you can just go straight to down dog. Hmm. Inhale, right toes rise. Exhale, shift the weight forward, knee to nose. Three of these. Inhale back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back. Exhale, step the right foot forward between your hands. Back heel high as you inhale, rise. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, stay. Or exhale, take it deeper. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, back foot rotates. Open up, warrior two. Flip the front palm. Inhale, up and back, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, up and back, reverse, stay low. Exhale, cartwheel, hands down around the front foot. Step back, chaturanga or not. All right, left side, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Last time, inhale up. Exhale, left foot steps forward. 90 degree angle, front leg, back heel high. Inhale, all in asana. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, stay. Or exhale, take it deeper. Inhale, center. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Low front leg, inhale, front palm flips, reach up and back. Exhale, cartwheel down. Stay low front leg as you inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel hands down, back heel lifts. Step back, chaturanga or not. Take a second. Down dog is your place to reconnect. We got one more round, starting with that chair pose. I'm not gonna cue this time because I'm super out of breath. When you're ready, inhale, you're starting by bringing yourself to the front of the mat, chair pose, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Feet together, rise. Exhale, hinge forward and fold. All right, move with your own breath pace.
Remember, it's okay if you're moving a little faster or slower than me. The goal is not to move with me, but rather with your breath. Take as much time as you need to finish out that last round. When you do finish it, we'll come down to a child's pose. Ah. We'll take five breaths here in child's pose. You're welcome to stay in child's pose as long as you need. This is your practice. When you're ready, slowly make your way back up to downward facing dog. Head is heavy. Send energy down through the heels. All right, we're gonna inhale. Let's actually take the left leg up first. Exhale, bend the knee and stack your hip open. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, step the left foot forward between your hands. From here, rotate the back foot all the way down. We are on left side right now. Cartwheel arms open, warrior two. And I mostly did that so I could be facing you. <laughs> Sink into that front leg. From here, we're gonna inhale, straighten the front leg, arms reach up. Exhale, pivot your left toes to the right side of your mat. So you're now facing the side of your mat, wide stance. Arms are up on the inhale. Exhale, we're gonna bring it all the way down, wide legged fold. Try to shift your weight into the balls of your feet. Relax your head and neck. Bending your knees is totally um, available if your hamstrings are really tight. Inhale, halfway lift here. On an exhale, turn your heels in 45 degrees and begin to sink down into a supported goddess pose. So basically, you're coming out kind of like a sumo squat, but your fingertips are on the ground, spine is long, crown of your head reaching forward, hips are way back. You can stay here, or if you want to make it a little harder, hands reach out in front of you. Hmm. Belly is hugging up and in, feeling that opening through the inner thighs, the hips. Ooh. On an inhale, let's stand all the way up just like we did at the beginning of class. And then exhale, we're going to sink it down into that goddess pose, cactus arms. Ooh. Keeping your tailbone slightly tucked, not a huge tuck. Just make sure you're not sticking it back behind you. And we're going to take five extensions um, up and down into goddess. So inhale. Reach up, straighten everything out. Exhale, sink. Five of these. I lied, let's do 10, these feel good. I think we're at eight. <laughs> Nine, ten, and then hold it down, goddess pose. Whew, okay, take a nice big breath in here on the exhale. Take your right elbow to rest on top of the right thigh. Left arm reaches to the sky. Now in this pose, make sure you're not leaning to the side. So hips are square, or not square, but to the center. So you're still evenly open on both legs. And you're not pressing over to one side. If you want to go deeper here, that right hand can come down to a block or even the floor as long as 
You're not shifting and you're not collapsing the left shoulder forward. All right, let's inhale, come back through center, stay low on the legs. Exhale, left elbow, left knee, right arm up. Oh. Stay with the breath, even if it's burning. If you wanna go deeper, left hand to a block or the floor, right arm reaches up. Opening the shoulder, center in the hips. Oh. Inhale, center, arms up. Exhale, straighten the legs, turn the toes to the side of the mat. Fold. Oh. Woo, all right. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold. All right. I'm actually going to flip us around on the mat a little bit here. So don't get confused. Just think about, just listen to what I'm saying. Inhale, find your halfway lift. On your exhale, you're actually going to pivot the right toes back. Bend the right knee. Come around to frame your right foot. So you should now be facing the back of your mat. Lift your left heel, okay? From here, plant the hands, step the right foot all the way back, down dog. So you're gonna down dog towards the back of the mat. Hmm. When you're ready, inhale the right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee, stack your hip open. So we're on that right leg now. Inhale, straighten the right leg out. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands at the front. Rotate the back heel all the way down, cartwheel open, warrior two, towards the back of your mat. Right leg is in the front. Hmm. Sinking it low, feeling the strength in both of the legs here. Hmm. Inhale, straighten, pivot the right toes back to that side of your mat. So you're facing the side again, five-pointed star. Toes are facing forward. On your exhale, Start to lunge into the right knee, keeping your left leg straight and active. Now you might only stop here, this is fine. Maybe you go a little lower. Maybe hands come to either a block or the floor to kind of support you. You want this stretch on the inner left thigh here. If you're looking for even more, hips come all the way down, left toes flex. Regardless of where you are in this side lunge, try to avoid collapsing forward. Okay, we're keeping length through the spine. Think about your heart opening to the front. Now, if you wanna take this a little deeper, you can go for a little um, bind here. So if you wanna to work towards the bind, right arm reaches in front of right shin, left arm to the sky. If this is, if you're looking for more, you can go for that bind. Right arm wraps around the right shin, left arm behind you. Maybe you can interlace the fingers, draw the left shoulder open. If you're binding, what you don't want is chest parallel to the floor. You want chest opening to the side, shoulders back. And do not force this. This is just an option. You don't have to do it by any means. Inhale, if you took the bind, release. On the exhale, hands come to the floor if they're not already there. Bring the hips back to center, toes facing the side of the mat, and exhale, fold. Shake the head out, yes, shake it no. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Begin to rise up one vertebrae at a time. Arms extend to the sky. On the exhale, lunge into that left leg. So we're starting to bring the torso almost as if it's like diagonal or parallel to the floor. Arms are reaching forward. Right toes are planted. This might be as far as you wanna go. Maybe you go a bit lower, hands can come to the ground or even a block. If you want that full expression of skandhasana, sink the hips down, right toes flex. Now if you're in this full version of skandhasana, notice that my heel is down. So it's okay if your heel's not down, but what you don't want is your weight pressing into your knee and making it kind of like wobble unsecurely in front of you. So you really want to keep the weight back. If your ankles are tight, it's still possible that even though the weight's back, the heel is up, but you don't want the weight forward, okay? Breathing here, heart is open. Maybe take that little preparation for the bind, left arm in front of left shin, right arm up. This could be where you stay. 
or go for the full bind. Remember, chest is opening to the side, not collapsing forward if you're in the bind. Last big breath in, release the bind if you took it. Exhale, hands to the floor, both feet planted to the side of the mat, full center. From here, grab opposite elbows, bend the knees just a little bit and kind of sway it side to side. Hmm. Okay, inhale, come back to center. This time we're going to go back to facing the front of the mat. Pivot the left toes forward. Hands come to frame your left foot, right heel high. Step back, downward facing dog. Hmm. All right, from here, walk your hands back towards your feet. So we're coming into a forward fold at the back of the mat. Shake that out, yes, shake it now. Bend the knees slightly as you rise up to stand. Arms sweep up overhead. And on an exhale, shift your weight into your left foot. Maybe just start by lifting your right heel. So we're gonna go into balancing. So stay here as long as you need to in order to feel secure. Some tips for balancing. Hug the belly up and in. So the more active your, your belly is, the better off you are. Find your drishti. A drishti is a place to gaze. So if you have a mirror in front of you, that's not gonna be great. <laughs> Look at a place maybe on the floor or on the ceiling that is not moving. And when you're ready, right foot comes up off the floor, hovering the right knee in front of you. Flex the right toes, take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, straighten the right leg, keep the right toes flexed. Keep your chest lifted. Woo. Inhale, bend the right knee. Exhale, straighten it out. Three more. Last one, see if you can hold. Shoulders back, belly in. Woo. Don't hold your breath. Oh, inhale, bend that knee, hands come to heart. Exhale, cross your right ankle over your left knee, sinking down, figure four. Hands are just at heart here, hips are sinking back. Woo. If you fall, it's okay. Heart is forward if you need more sensation. Hips can come lower, closer to in line with the knee. Or you can even work hands down to possibly a block on the floor or hands to the floor. Remembering there's not one version that is more impressive than the other. Just looking for a version that is getting you to feel the hips, okay? Getting you to feel those sensations. Breathe. Hmm. All right, slowly, if you came to the floor, rise back up. Arms overhead as you release the right leg back in front of you. All right, this is where we're gonna have a little fun. <laughs> so, inhale to lift the knee a little bit higher, gazing forward as you exhale. Step the right foot as far forward as you can, seeing if you can come into a high lunge. All right, big breath in. On the exhale, shift into your right foot. Sweeping the arms and the left leg up behind you. Here we're dressing a three. Warrior three. Shoulders are back, belly is in. Hmm. All right, nice big breath in here. On your exhale, bring right hand down to the floor. It should be slightly in front and to the right of your standing leg. Left arm, left hip open up to the side. Half moon. You can also use a block here if you have it, if the floor is like feeling really far away. You can also keep a slight bend in your standing leg. Left toes are facing the left side of your mat. Inhale here. Bend your right knee as you exhale. Step the left leg back. Warrior two footing. So the back edge of your left foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Cartwheel the arms open, warrior two, sink down. Whew. All right, we are setting up for a big hip opening pose. 
So let's take that extended side angle again. Inhale, flip the front palm, reach up and back. Exhale, elbow to knee, or if you want to go deeper this time, right hand to a block or the floor, left arm alongside, left cheek. Inhale here, reach the left arm straight to the sky. Exhale, maybe bind the left arm behind your back, opening up the chest. Hmm. Inhale to release that bind. Exhale, frame your front foot up, remove the block if it was in your way. Step back, down dog. Or you can chat about that. <laughs> oh man, all right. Almost there. Inhale. From here, we're walking, sorry, walking the hands back to the feet again at the back of the mat. Fold. Slight bend in the knees as you rise up on the inhale. Exhale, shift into your right leg. Maybe you stay just with the left heel up, or left heel comes all the way up off the floor, hovering the left knee. Soften the face. Inhale. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Four more. Last one, hold that leg straight, but keep breathing. Whew. Inhale, bend the knee, hands come to heart. Exhale, figure four, cross the left ankle over the right knee. Weight is back. Take it as deep as you want to go on this leg. Maybe hands come to a block or the floor. Maybe not. Let's inhale, Woo. bring it all the way back up, left knee hovers, arms to the sky, exhale, step that left foot as far forward as you can, back heel lifts, big breath in, shift into the left leg, warrior three, airplane arms, take a nice big breath in here, exhale, the left hand to the floor or a block, right arm, right hip, open up to the side, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe keep a bend in that left leg. Don't panic. If you fall, you fall. You come back in, right? Inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee. Step the right foot back. Warrior two, foot in. Carwell the arms open. Inhale. Sink into that front leg. Exhale. Front palm flips. Reach up and back. Exhale, extended side angle. Right arm overhead. If you want to go deeper this time, go for it, but you certainly don't have to. Inhale, right arm reaches straight up. Exhale, option to bind. Inhale, release the bind. Exhale, frame your front foot, move the block. Step back, down dog. All right, drop it to the knees for a second. We'll sit back. We're going to go into our peak pose, which is Bird of Paradise. So we opened our hips quite a lot for this. And just know that as I demo it, you can stop anywhere along the demo. If you get to a point um, as we go through it that is challenging for you and you don't want to continue to the next step, don't. Stay where it's challenging and get stronger there. That way when you do finally go for that next step, you have that body strength and endurance to move on. So just be kind to yourself wherever you get with this pose today. No judgment. Just be happy that you're here and you're trying and you're getting stronger. Most importantly, breathe. All right. So if you have blocks, have them available. Again, if not, not a big deal. I just find them helpful. Slowly come up into your downward facing dog. <sighs> All right. I'm actually gonna face you right now. It's gonna make it a little easier so you can see what I'm doing. Stay where you are, breathing in down dog. We're gonna take the right leg up. Okay, exhale, bend the knee, step your hip open. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, right foot steps between your hands at the front. Rotate the back heel down, cartwheel the arms open, warrior two. All right, in your warrior two, now take a nice big breath in. Exhale that right elbow to the right knee or wherever you want to bring that right hand. 
Left arm sweeps overhead. Now this is the first step into getting into Bird of Paradise. If this is already very challenging, stay in your extended side angle. Next step, if you want to keep moving on, left arm binds behind the back. Maybe this is where you stay. If you want more, right arm wraps under the right thigh, interlacing the fingers behind the back, opening the chest. Now, if you're in the bind and your chest is collapsing forward, you don't want that. Bring that right hand back to the floor or the block or the knee. All right. If you're able to keep this bind without collapsing the chest forward and you want to move on, gaze down at your right foot. From here, we're going to step the left foot forward until it's parallel to the right foot. Okay, this looks funny, I know. Start to shift into your left foot, lifting your right heel. Okay, so you still have that bind. Strengthen your left leg, draw your belly in, and start to lift the torso, whew, bringing that right leg with you. Oh. Again, if you fall, it's okay. If you can get all the way up here, shoulders are back. Full expression is leg extended to the side, which I actually can't do today, but if you can, go for it. Whew. Wherever you are, stay for two breaths. Whew, I actually lost my grip. And if you're in that bird of paradise, slowly bring the right foot back down. And we'll pop that left foot all the way back until it's in warrior two. Release the bind of the arms. Ooh, wherever you are, getting into that released extended side angle, big breath in. Exhale, hands frame the right foot. Lift your back heel, step back, down dog. All right, breathe here for a second. I'm gonna go back to facing the right way on my mat. Now you know where you're going. Be aware that each side also might be a little different. One side might be a little more open than the other, and that's okay. So, starting out, inhale, left toes rise. Exhale, bend the knee, stack your hip open. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, left foot steps between the hands. Back foot rotates down, cartwheel arms open, warrior two. Nice big breath in here, exhale, extended side angle. Wherever you want to be in that extended side angle, maybe left hand comes down. Option to bind the right arm behind your back. This might be as far as you want to go. Option to bind left arm under left thigh. Interlace the hands behind. Shoulders back. All right, if you're going for that bird of paradise, start by gazing at the left toes. Right foot begins to step forward until it's parallel to your left foot. Shift your weight into the right leg now. Start by just lifting the left heel, shoulders back. Maybe stay here or see if you can stand up onto that right leg, bringing the leg with left leg with you. Shoulders are back, maybe left leg extends. Again, I can't do it, but maybe you can. Two breaths. If you stood up, whoo, start to bring that left foot back down. Whoo, pop that right leg back. Oh, release the bind. Oh, if you took that bind, reach the right arm overhead, big breath in. Exhale, frame your left foot, step back down dog. Whoo, drop it to the knees. Sit back for a second, maybe shake out the wrists. That was intense. Take a second to just feel good about wherever you got today. Okay? Whew, all right. We're gonna take a quick little shoulder stretch. Coming into tabletop. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, open the right arm to the sky. Exhale, thread the right arm under your left armpit, laying onto your right shoulder. Oh. Maybe bring your left hand and walk it forward. Slowly bring the left palm back to the floor. Rise up on the inhale. 
exhale, tabletop. Other side, inhale, left arm opens. Exhale, left arm threads underneath right armpit. Lay onto the shoulder. Maybe right hand walks forward. Hmm. Right palm back to the floor, press up and open. Exhale, tabletop. Oh. All right, from here, cross your ankles, roll back onto your seat. Ooh, sorry, I went a little bit longer, so we're coming to the end here. So let's bring ourselves to the middle of the mat. Let's slowly lower the back down onto the ground. And because we did so much hip opening, let's actually do a little internal rotation of the hips. So take your feet about mat's distance and let the knees fall in towards each other, okay? Constructive rest. It's okay if the knees don't touch. Maybe bring one hand over your heart, one hand over your belly. Couple breaths here. Take the knees apart, walk the feet back in about hips distance. <sighs> Take the right leg, cross it all the way over your left leg. Taking your hips, just scooch them slightly over to your right side and drop your knees down to the left. Arms are just gonna open out like a T or cactus arms, whatever feels good, and bring your gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale, unravel. Scooch the hips back to center, uncross the legs. Taking it to the other side, left leg crosses on top of right. Hips scooch to the left, knees to the right. Gaze over your left shoulder, a couple breaths. Inhale, unravel. Hips to center, uncross the legs. Hug the knees all the way in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug as you rock gently side to side, massaging out the back, massaging out the spine. Letting everything begin to soften. And then inhale to center. Give yourself one final squeeze. Exhale, release everything down onto the mat. Arms and legs long. Gently close your eyes and allow the weight of your body to just sink down into the earth. Imagine that with every exhale, you're releasing some tension, whether it be physical, mental, emotional. And give yourself permission to rest here. Shavasana. Start to wiggle out the fingers and the toes again, deepening your breath as you bring that sensation, that awareness back to the body. On an inhale, reach the arms up overhead, finding a nice big full body stretch. Bend your knees and gently roll over onto whichever side is calling to you. And gently press yourself back up to a comfortable seated position, allowing the eyes to remain closed. Sitting up tall and bringing the hands to heart center, drawing the shoulders down your back, lifting through the crown of your head. This hand gesture, these prayer hands, 
called Anjali Mudra. It's a sign of love, compassion, and gratitude that you can show to yourself, your body, and your practice. Allow yourself to be at ease, to be at peace. And gently bring your thumb tips up to the center of your forehead, your third eye. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Guys, thank you so much for practicing. Sorry I went a couple minutes over. Um, thanks for coming. I will be doing this again um, every day at noon through Saturday. So if you enjoyed it, check back. Um, different stuff every day. And then if you want to stick around, I'm going to end the live video and then start restart the live video for the 25-minute hit class that we're going to be doing next. So thanks again for joining me. If you can donate anything to my Venmo, awesome. I am at Chels underscore teaches underscore yoga if you're able to. If not, no problem. I'll be doing this every day. So stick around for the live hit class if you're interested. Otherwise, have an awesome day. Thank you so much for practicing. See you guys later.